What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the light sensor slash rain sensor for your W204. All that coming right up. Now this also applies to other Mercedes-Benz models. So if your rain sensor slash light sensor looks similar to this, most likely, your procedure is going to be somewhat similar but if your light sensor is a little bit different the procedure to remove it is going to be very similar don't take my word for it be sure that uh, you do a little bit of research yourself first and hopefully you can figure out how to remove your light sensor with the help of this video hopefully you can use this video as a guide if your rain, your rain sensor slash light sensor isn't the same but if it is then this video will help you replace your light slash rain sensor. Now before I go any further, I really wanted to clarify something from my previous video. So in my previous video, I showed you guys how to remove the front center speaker cover along with the parking distance monitor and behind it, I also showed how to remove the sensor behind your parking distance monitor. In that video, I referred to that as the light sensor. Now thinking back, I really don't know why I refer to it as the light sensor because I always knew that in fact your light sensor is also built in with your rain sensor it shares the same location so I really don't know why I refer to it as the light sensor I think it's just because when I was doing my research about it someone referred to it as that and uh, silly me I should have just verified what it was before I said that so I do apologize after all this channel is all about showing you guys how to DIY so the last thing I want to do is give anybody any misleading information i really do apologize for referring to it as the light sensor when in actual fact it is a sensor that relates to your air conditioning so once again i do apologize for uh, giving the wrong information i really hope that i help to clarify what is what when it comes to your light sensor and the sensor that um, is for your air conditioning with that said let's jump straight into the video i'm going to show you just how I remove the light slash rain sensor for the W204. Okay guys, so in order to give yourself a little bit more room, if normally your mirror is like so, make sure you bend it just a little bit away, just to give yourself a little bit, or just straighten it up completely, just so you to give yourself a little bit more room. What you wanna do is get a trim removal tool and pry here. And that's gonna help this slide down, okay? There we go, do the same to the other side, put it in, pry down. Now, if you take a look at the back here, you're going to see a plug right there. In order to release this plug, you need to press on this tab right here, then pull it out slowly. Careful not to break anything. If you have a look at this, there is this metal clip here, and in order to release this, you need to use a flathead screwdriver you need to pry it off this way so you need to get your flathead screwdriver in between here gently pry it off i'm going to use a pick tool this is my weapon of choice go right up the top corner i'll show you after i do this okay there we go that's one off and now for the next one you just need to do the same to the other side. So we get our uh, pick tool in here again. And we just pry it off. You just have to move this cable out of the way so you can see it better. And once you move that cable out of the way, you can see where you're supposed to pry it from. But be very gentle guys. You do not want to break this. Okay, and once you release it, as you can see here, they just come straight off. That is your clip removed. That's where it plugs in. There's your sensors right there. You have your part number there as well. What you were trying to achieve here, you were trying to get your flathead screwdriver just here and you just wanted to pry backwards so that this clip here releases as well. You see that clip right there? You're just pulling it back enough so that it will release. That's how you remove your light sensor and rain sensor. And then you also have this piece here, okay? And 
in order to to remove this it's actually very simple as well behind here you're going to see two tabs I will show you after I'm done you have to pry these tabs back like this and then pull it straight down okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them back and then with my other fingers I'm going to release one side first there we go and then you pull it down you release the tab and pull it down do the same to the other side and pull it down and then as you can see now it just slides down that's how you release this tab here as you can see here you've got a plug here as well and this plug simply unplugs so all you have to do is pull straight back on it I find that it's easier to leave it on and remove it first and then unplug it <coughs> okay so if you look here you can see how this clips in okay so you have you have these two prongs here which s slide into this part here and then you've also got these two slots that these two tabs here clip into and all I was doing I was prying them back a little bit so that I could release this and that's all there is to it you can simply unplug it here as well but I don't see the point in doing that so I'm just going to reinstall it now this is your rain sensor ECU module this is the module that controls it this is important as well if for some reason this mal malfunctions or fails you also have to have a look at this and consider that this may be the culprit as well and in order to reinstall it you just have to line up these tabs and push it straight back up it will sit back in like so it's back in now once you're done and you've gotten the new part um, I'll give you the part number of this part as well as I've uh, already taken it down it's listed in the corner right now once you have your new part all you have to do now is reinstall it and to reinstall it all you gotta do is push it straight up and it will clip back into place so move everything out of the way I'm going to show you quickly how everything looks okay so as you can see here what you're looking to do now is that's where the two silver clips clipped onto okay that there and also the other one there what you were aiming to do was prying it off these tabs so that it could release and so if you take a look here you can see that there is a metal tab there and a metal tab there as well right there you have to line them up as well as these tabs as well you can see these two tabs here that's what clips into place and that's what you had to release in order to release this ECU module for your light rain sensor now we're going to reinstall it and we need to make sure that our silver clips clip back over this now all we have to do is line up I've already got one side on but the purple tabs that I showed you earlier where we unclip these silver clips off all you have to do now is line up your light sensor and then push it straight back up and these silver clips will clip back over the purple slot I've got one side on by just pushing it straight up and now I'm going to push this side up gently until it clicks there we go I can tell that it's securely on give it a quick little wiggle just to ensure that it's definitely on there just to also make sure that it is on be sure to take a look at both sides and if you can see the black tab on either side protruding out then you know that you've got it back in place so when I push this down you notice that black tab there in between the two the, the silver prongs if that is protruding you know that you've got that silver uh, that silver clip back in place same goes for the other side as well before you put everything back on make sure you double check everything so you don't have to uh, redo it again feel that feel to make sure that your tabs are out and then push this cable back in where it originally came from that's where it was originally it was tucked up under there and now don't forget to plug back in the plug for your rain sensor it only goes one way there we go it's in there now as you can see and then we just push it straight back in and voila make sure you double check everything ensure that nothing is missing okay there we go 
check the other side ensure that that tab is protruding there that's how you remove replace your light slash rain sensor and also the ECU module that goes with it now all we have to do is put the case back on all we have to do now is replace the cover ensure everything is back where it's supposed to be make sure all your plugs are plugged in your wires aren't in the way and to put this back on you need to slide the top part in first so we make sure we go around the cables we slide it in so it's in the center this round part has to sit inside here you see this lip here that has to sit inside here so we come in from the top like so and then we slide it in and then once we have it lined up it's just a matter of pushing it up against the roof panel and then pushing it straight up like that and that's it that's it that's all there is to it bang now before I go in the back here you can see that I have the 2000 model W203 C200 compressor meaning that it is a supercharge for those of you who don't know what compressor means I believe it just means supercharger in uh, German correct me if I'm wrong I will also still be doing W204 content as well but I thought there are a lot of people who own the W203 as well including myself so I really wanted to introduce this car to the channel in order to help other W203 owners it is a cool little car it's manual but um, it's all about showing how to modify, maintain and fix issues with the W203. Regardless of the fact, I will be introducing this car on this channel in the next couple of weeks as I prepare it. And uh, I really hope you guys will enjoy the content. There you go guys, how to replace the light rain sensor for your W204. I really hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much for watching this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off